Things are good in Canada. Things are easy in Canada. We, don't, we wake up, things are fine. Eh? Water. We got tons of water. Hey, we're lousy with water. Eh? I got some of it right here. Yeah. It's delicious. That's what people are going to be fighting wars over. Forget the oil. Delicious water. We got more water than we knew what to do with. We complain when it rains. <laughs> Just wash my car! I don't even care. Look at that. Look at that. I don't care. I watched this thing on TV about this guy. His job in his village was he was the guy who went to get water. That was going to be his life. For the rest of his life, he was going to be the guy in the village who went to the water hole to get water. Three miles. Three miles out, three miles back to get water. Whoa. I got water running through every wall of my house. Oh, kind of scared it's going to leak. Can you imagine showing this guy your house? I think you're the king of Siam. Roll in, look at your toilet. Oh my God, you got a water hole! Well, yeah, yeah, but you don't want to drink that one. Oh, that water there is just for shitting in. Yeah. You'd head into the kitchen, take a look at the tap. Oh, well, well do, you, do you drink that water? Well, yeah, sometimes, I guess. Although I mainly use that water to wash the extra food off my plate at the end of a meal. I find I often just can't finish all the food I got. So I gotta hose it down there with some water just to get all the sauces and gravies off of there, so. And then what I do is I toss it in the dishwasher here. It's a it's a machine, it uses more water. Just, just to get any microscopic pieces of food that might be left on the plate. Because, you know, Lord knows I don't want any food on that plate when I have my next meal in about 40 minutes. I mean, if you really want a drink of water, if you need to have a drink of water, well, we got a water cooler plugged into the wall right over there. A great big jug of delicious water there. Help yourself. Yeah. It's a big jug. I know. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, I have them deliver it because the store is like three miles away. A group of concerned citizens in Toronto have banded together because they're worried about all the violence in the city, all the people getting killed by stray bullets.